Hi everybody, thanks for watching. You're in the utility room of a small house we converted into an apartment building and it looks like the furnace pilot light has gone out. So I'm going to show you in a generic way what you need to do to light a pilot light in a gas-fired furnace. Now I've already taken off one inspection panel. And these things usually just hang. So it might be a little different based on your model, but the uh, See these two dark gray plates? They usually just lift up and are hanging. They might be held on with a screw or two, but I'm going to put these to the side. And you'll know you're looking at the pilot light assembly when you see some sort of a control that says like off, on, and pilot, and an ignition type switch. Follow the gas line from that, and that'll take you to where your pilot should be. Now in this particular case, it has another galvanized plate that will slide off. I actually put it in there upside down. But for demonstration purposes, you see that L-shaped deflector, that's going to deflect the gas, uh, the flame, onto the thermal couple right there, which is a safety mechanism to shut off the system. So we'll light this, and we should be back in business. I'm going to have my partner here hold that while I go get a match. Uh, one thing you might want to use for these things are a, uh, a wooden match and some sort of long stick. Or we're going to use a skewer from barbecue and tape the match on there so we don't have to stick our fingers way in there uh, in a dangerous way. So I'll get that and we'll, we'll record again in a second. Okay, here's what I meant. This is your typical barbecue skewer. I'm going to take an old little kitchen math match. Can't talk this morning. And it's not so bad because this is kind of an accessible pilot light, but some of these things you're laying on your belly on the floor and you don't want to, or you just don't have the capability to get in there any further. So I'm just going to tape this on here. And this will be our wand, follow me up, to go in there and light in there. And I keep my hands far, away, far enough away. They also sell these things, you know, these little wand lighters like this. Those are all right too, but that's only six inches of extension. Up here in the pilot control knob, three positions, off, pilot, and on. When you're in the pilot positions, the gas is not on. You have to hold the gas button down. So I'll have to depress this, and then I'm going to use my match on a stick and hold this thing down while the flame is on the thermocouple long enough to activate the metals in the thermocouple, and then we'll switch to on. So a couple different things. Hold this down, light it, hold it. And then after about 30 seconds, go to on. You should be good to go. Okay, I'm going to hold the button down. Gas is on now. And go underneath. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see the gas. Our, our flashlight is kind of making it dead. But up a little bit, you can see I'm holding down the button. And while that gas is on there, I'm going to turn it to on. There we go. And down there we have gas and power. So in a generic fashion, in, in a kind of a basic fashion function, all furnaces are the same for the pilot lighting. The configuration might be different. This might be way down low or it might be up higher. But it's going to be behind the plate. And now you just need to buckle it up the way you found it. We're going to put the inspection plate back over it. Okay, we're buckled up. We're going to go check the furnace thermostat and see if we're getting heat upstairs. So that's how simple it is. This is for information only. Consult a professional before you try to do this yourself, of course. But as always, thanks for watching.